It was unimaginable. A little girl played outside her home one moment and vanished the next. I hollered for her and she didn't come and she was usually the first one at the door when I hollered. 8.45, the night of September 16th. Brittany's brother Josh may have been the last to see his six-year-old sister playing near this bench with her bike. The bike was a pink little girl's bike. It may have looked something like this one, but police say they didn't find Brittany's bike near the bench. They found it back at the apartment. She had the bike and, and she apparently rode the bike back from up by the roadway back over to the apartment complex by the, by the, by the apartment they lived in. So the bike was there. She had dowels, she had this and that, but it was her bicycle. She didn't care about anything else but her bike. So where was Brittany's family when she disappeared? Brittany didn't live with her father, Raymond Beers. He lived across town. He says he was at home. Brittany lived with her mom, Tina Stetler, in an apartment. Tina says she was at the store getting milk. Brittany's uncle, Jimmy Beers, was staying at the apartment. He is Raymond's brother, but at the time, he was also Tina's boyfriend. He says he was asleep inside. I seen Josh outside the bedroom door, and he's, I said, what are you still doing up? And he says, Brittany's gone. Tina told police she came home just after 9 and found Brittany missing. At 10.33, police were called. We had tracking dogs down right away. Dawn, September 17th. The FBI and numerous county and state agencies have joined the search. Then police discovered another piece of information. According to the prosecutor, a state agency in charge of the safety and well-being of children had already been investigating Brittany's family life weeks before she disappeared. Referrals had been made. There were a number of people that were concerned about the Beers children. Once Brittany disappeared, that investigation was put on hold temporarily. Any areas where it looked like there's been fresh digging. For the next two days, hundreds of volunteers would search. I hope we find this will real life. Then, on September 18th, two days after Brittany's disappearance, foot searches were officially called off. That same day, Jimmy Beers was arrested, but not for Brittany's disappearance. Police say Beers got in a physical argument with Brittany's mom the day before the six-year-old disappeared. Jimmy says he stayed in jail for 18 days while the search continued. I prayed to God a lot and asked him, I asked him a lot to show me where she was. Good evening, I'm Maureen McFadden. And I'm Mark Kelly. The news is not good tonight out of Sturgis. Two days after she turned up missing, police still have no leads. Media reports flooded the airwaves. Brittany's big eyes and shy smile were seen in store windows for miles around. Then, about a week after Brittany disappeared, a bloodhound was brought in and caught her scent. The dog brought police here, what could be the last place Brittany went, a parking lot next to a gas station, just yards from her home. Then the trail went cold. Two weeks later, Brittany got national television attention. Then, in December, more than two months later, the investigation got one last boost with these cards. Each of these red pins represents a tip tips that led nowhere. Now, more than 10 months later, still no leads, no suspects, and no sign of Brittany. As long as it remains an open case, then no one is ruled out as a suspect. No one. And if the image of this little girl's face slips from strangers' memories, it only grows stronger for her father, who remembers when Brittany was just days old. I just want Brittany to know if she's around and I still love her and I want her to come home. Six-year-old little girl doesn't just disappear off the face of the earth without someone else knowing about it. And if Brittany is out there, and if she is with someone, did they know that last Saturday was Brittany's seventh birthday?